do I really need to get two doses of the vaccine? Because needles really freak me out. And the thought of having to go twice, just it makes me feel sick. I just I don't see why we, we need two. I'm sorry you have a problem with needles. Um, again, we are we are coming across people that have had bad experiences with needles because maybe something happened when they were younger or they, they just don't like it. Um, so again, if I explain to you sort of the difference between if you were to have one vaccine versus having both the doses, um, I suppose the, the best illustration is the current variant that we've got. So the new variant that's come from India, and um, we know that this is a particularly stubborn strain and it's making people feel quite unwell. Some recent data that has come out has shown that after having the first jab, you are only 33% protected, up to 33% protected. After the second Pfizer uh, after the second Pfizer dose, you are up to 90% protected. So, for example, if I give you an analogy, um, imagine having comparing one dose of the vaccine to having a taste of something. So, you know, it's like a dress rehearsal. You've got a flavor of exactly what's going on. Your body's got an idea of perhaps what this virus will do to your body, but actually doesn't have all the tools ready for it. So it's got it's got a little bit, but it's not quite there. It's not quite practiced. After having the second dose of the vaccine, you get given all the tools, all the ammunition, um, so that if you were to get the vaccine, you would be fully protected. Um, and particularly because of what's happening with the new variants that are coming along, there's even more emphasis that people should be having both of the vaccines rather than one. Um, if you do have problems with like needle phobia and things, make sure that you speak to the team that you'd be booking your vaccination at and um, beforehand so that they know. And there are ways that they can manage it as well. So, you know, they can lie you down um, they can give you distractions. Um, they can maybe have someone else in the room so that, you know, your mind is occupied and um, they will monitor you for 15 minutes afterwards as well. So that, you know, God forbid, if there was any problems, you're in a safe place. There's doctors and nurses around that can help you.